Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is Element of Frost, and yes, you are seeing it correctly. We are playing No Man's Sky, but don't be fooled. This is not a live commentary, and it's, I'm not going to act like it is. It, it, this is straight up a first impressions video for No Man's Sky. Now, this is a game that came out on August the 9th. As you guys know, that was obviously a Tuesday. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. Okay. Sorry, guys. Got a little confused there. So it's obviously a couple of days after the initial release of No Man's Sky, and I'm here to give you guys my first impressions of it, guys, what I actually think of it. Now, I've only played about an hour and a half of it, so I don't really have that much game time into it. But nonetheless, I think this is a very, very fun and interesting game. Now, if you only play video games for, like, the action of it and you only like those types of games, this probably won't be the game for you. But if you like exploration, you know, type of games with some combat and stuff like that mixed in, um, sort of an open world, you know, I mean, this is as open world as it gets. It's absolutely insane, guys, how large this game is. It's, it's mind-blowing, actually, if you think about it. Now, I do go into the settings menu and everything like that during this, so you guys can see that the, uh, the menus and everything like that, very similar to Destiny. Of course, you have the cursor that you can use and actually roam around with. I'm glad they brought that into the game. Anyways, this game is filled with exploration and tons of elements and things to explore. It's just absolutely insane, guys. You can discover your own animals. You can actually end up naming them and the planets, and it's just really in-depth. It really is an insane game, and there's no other way to put it. I think it's really cool because the beginning part of the game, you actually get to go on to... A random planet, which by the way, you all spawn on a random planet. It's not all the same thing, so the beginning of the game is pretty much different for everybody, which is fucking cool. And uh, you get this, you know, little gun, or I don't know, whatever you want to call it, mining beam, I guess. And you go around, you collect elements like iron and, you know, stuff like that, and you use those materials to further your progression. And the whole beginning of the game is basically rebuilding, or not rebuilding, but I guess refurbishing your ship, you know, repairing it, if you will. Finding elements to actually repair the parts that need to be repaired, like the launch thrusters, for example. Now, I spent in total about an hour uh, repairing the ship. That's how long it took me, but I feel like you could do it, you know, in a much faster time if you actually knew what you were doing in the game, but I got in tons of combat sequences with, I believe, what they're called Centennials. You guys will see that here in a second. And these Centennials are absolutely insane, guys. You guys gotta watch out for these things, okay? You can hit them down with the mining beam. I didn't know that at first, and I got just absolutely destroyed by them, and it, it was not a fun fight, let me tell you that. It was not a fun fight, but I actually ended up taking out a wave of them. I actually thought they were done, and they ended up you know, sending in a second wave and taking me out then. So I did die. But to be fair, I didn't know you could kill enemies with a mining beam. You know, I, I, I sort of put two and two together and I, I thought that was like mining only, but apparently not. So with that being said, there's tons of gear on you and what you actually have is called a multi-tool, which is like a scanner and just your mining beam and I believe something else I don't quite remember, like uh, goggles or something like that. Again, I haven't had, you know, too much experience with the game so far, but you can repair those elements and make your journey, you know, finding those things to repair your ship a lot easier. You know, you can hit uh, L3, which is the left stick, obviously. You can hit that and uh, use your scanner, and that comes up with a bunch of materials around you that you can go and get. Now, in the beginning area where I spawned, I sort of spawned on a platform above everything else, and I didn't think, I thought, I th I thought the jump down was actually going to kill me. So that's why you see when I fight these Centennials, I didn't actually end up jumping down because I thought that was like a kill zone, you know what I mean? My my whole gaming instinct sort of kicked in and was like, oh, I don't think I can go down there. That's really fucking far away. But turns out you can. You have a jetpack. You can obviously control your boost down. And it, it's really fun, okay? This game is a lot like Destiny in those aspects. And it's just, it's so much different at the same time and so unique on its own because it's mostly about exploration with, like I said, combat mixed in, which does give it a very fun element to it. So once I found out that I could actually go outside of that area and like boost up and out of that area, I ended up exploring a lot, guys. I found animals, I found drones, and it, it's just a cool experience all the way around. You can collect platinum, you can feed those animals, you can you know, name them, if you will, name the species, which is, again, pretty cool. You actually need, uh, I believe it's called Heridium for that. You can actually end up finding, like, a, a trade zone. I'm not exactly sure what it's called yet. Like I said, 
not too experienced with the game. I didn't really follow it all the way up to release or anything like that. So as I'm playing, I'm sort of just learning. And it's been a long time since I had a game like that. Anyways, like I said, I found a trade station. And you can actually go ahead and buy a bunch of things and sell a bunch of things as well from your inventory and gain a lot of money. Uh, especially from those daggers or whatever you actually find. You, know, you can find other things like beads and stuff like that that come up like green. Again, I'm not sure what they're called. Now you can sell those items for a crap ton of currency. I actually got like 20,000 for a dagger that, you know, obviously had no use to me other than the fact that it's supposed to be used for trading. You're supposed to use it to get those credits. I end up buying some heridium. Now again, I'm not exactly sure if that's what it's called or that's how you pronounce it rather, but I end up trying to feed a deer, which was a pretty cool experience. I like it. Uh, it wasn't really a deer, I guess. It was some sort of other type of deer. I don't know. I don't know. You guys will see it. And it's just, everything looks a lot similar to, you know, the planet Earth with the animals that you find. But there's like, I want to say mutations, but I think it's a whole new species, right? So I don't really think it's a mutation. It's just it's really cool, you know, finding these species and being able to name it. If you find a planet that no one else has found, by the way, guys, you actually are the one who technically discovered it, which means you can go in your inventory and actually name the damn thing, name the locations, and it's just absolutely insane that you can do that in this game. There's so many locations in the world that it literally lets you name locations and planets and species of animal and it's just really cool because there's shit tons of people playing this game and you are the only one that found that location, that found that planet, that found that particular species. It, it's just, like I said, it's mind-blowing if you think about it. Now, like I said, this whole thing is basically me trying to repair my ship. Now, everybody's experience with that will be completely different. You guys will all be on separate planets unless you get really, really unlucky and, you know, obviously get a planet that somebody's already been on, which I'm not even sure is possible. You might just get a new planet automatically. I, I really don't know. But everybody's experience will be different in terms of you can't follow, you know, where I have to go to get my supplies. You have to find that on your own. You know, you can't follow a tutorial online like other games. Your game is specific to you, which again, is absolutely mind-blowing. So as I gather materials like carbon and platinum, iron, all that stuff, you can finally find something called heridium. I actually found like a, a stockpile, if you will, of heridium. It was huge. I was confused if I was supposed to get on top of it at first, but I actually ended up figuring out that you actually just, you can go to the bottom and, you know, use your little mining beam on it. I had to clear out a space in my inventory so I could actually pick up the heridium so that I could obviously bring it back to my ship, use it to power it up and repair and all that good stuff, and then get on my way. Now, like I said, all components to this game are pretty basic, you know, find materials, go repair your ship. Other than that, you get other objectives afterwards, other milestones that you can complete. Now, after you do repair your starship, you will get to fly away into your galaxy and explore other planets. It's, again, absolutely insane. You're only in one galaxy, and you can go into tons and tons of others. It's, it, again, I cannot stress this enough, guys. You have to play this game if you guys enjoy this type of stuff, because it will literally blow your mind as you're playing it. After you repair your ship, though, you will be given a quest to find, like, a hyperdrive, which, obviously, I have not gotten that far yet. And the entire objective of the game, according to my friends that have a little more experience with it, is to get to basically the center of the universe, or, you know, something like that. I think that's a cool objective, but there's not really a story mode to this game, so that could be something that really, you know, turns your eye, I guess, away from this game. But I'm telling you, it's a hell of an experience. Even the first hour is definitely worth it, guys. The planets that you are given are absolutely incredible, and just being able to find a planet that no one else has found and name them whatever the hell you want is insane, in my opinion. I love it. I think the graphics are especially overdone. I think it's really cool that they were able to do this well on graphics while maintaining a fucking gigantic game. Very impressive. But with that being said, I know that graphics are not the most important thing in the game. I'm just blatantly pointing out that it's incredible. I know that I probably haven't talked for the whole 16 minutes, and I do apologize for that, but that's really all I've got to say. Those are my first impressions, guys. It's an incredible game. It's huge. It's fantastic in the way that you get to go ahead and explore your own areas of the map, and you get to explore 
the uh, the beginning of the game, you know, different from every other person on Earth. All right, well, at least I think. Now, if you are a person who is into open world exploration, have liked some other games in the past, like Borderlands and Destiny, let me assure you that it is really nothing like that at all, besides the space aspect to it. This game has far less combat, but way, way more exploration to it. Personally, I think it's just a game that you can sit back, relax, and play without stressing over anything, you know what I mean? There's not really any grindy type aspect to the game where you have to sit at a certain checkpoint, you know, for certain hours of a day and just get absolutely pissed, throw a controller at a wall and just, you know, be on your way. This is a game that you can sit here, relax, and enjoy playing for long periods of time because it has those combat aspects to it and those adventure aspects to it as well that will keep you entertained. So with that being said, me personally, I urge you to try this game out. You know what I mean? Go rent it or something. You don't have to buy it right out or anything like that. Go rent it, see if you like it, and then support the game developers by buying it. Because that is what they deserve. A lot of support for making a game as incredible as this. Again, two words. Mind-blowing. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, feel free to hit the video with a like. Support the channel if you guys haven't already by subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. We're getting close to 1,800 subscribers. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit that mark. I will see everybody on tomorrow's video if you feel like tuning in. Take care, everybody.